Hello everybody, Firestorm 79 back here, continuing my Star Trek Legacy Let's Play. So as requested, I am going to change up my fleet a bit. I am not going to restock at all. Let's see, I'm going to get a Defiant, an Intrepid, and I like Galaxy, I don't know. I haven't really played as an ambassador class, so I'll try and do that. Captain's personal log supplemental. Our ruse has drawn out Terrell and the task force she commands. The Klingon and Romulan fleets have successfully lured the other elements of her Borg forces to this more defensible position above Bajor. The Bajorans have graciously offered the services of Deep Space Nine, recognizing the tactical importance of this region. Our fleets, however, are scattered across this system, engaging the enemy. If we are to hold them here and possibly turn this engagement into an advantage, we must bring the fleets together. Our first order of business must be to secure Deep Space Nine and use its might to keep the Borg off balance. If it falls, so do all our chances of equalizing the odds. As for Terrell, time shall unfold what plated cunning hides. Okay, so we're nearing the end of our let's play here. Enterprise to the fleet. So our All attacks will form leave. up and engage the Borg attacking Deep Space Nine and our Klingon friends. Remember to keep clear of the station so, field of fire. So here's the defiant class. Good luck. Probably my favorite, one of my favorite classes to play. It's probably just fire because I love Deep Space Nine. And then we got our intrepid here. Boy here. I never watched Voyager too much. I don't know. I didn't really get into that one. Anyway. Probably give it another try later on. And then I write down this one, but here's the ambassador. Kind of a combination of the Excelsior and the Galaxy. And Kittle. Preferably the former, General Menvik. Thanks to your swift action, Deep Space Nine has been secured. You have earned great honor for your house. But we still have to marshal the other forces in the system. Never have I fought such a soulless enemy as these. Borg. But rest assured, we shall be victorious. And souls or no, we shall send them all to Greybar. Lead on, Captain. We shall follow you into the belly of the beast. Our long-range sensors have detected three battlefronts. Two Romulan fleets are fighting Borg vessels on opposite sides of the system, while the remaining Klingon forces are also engaged in a fleet action at a third location. Whatever you decide, Captain, 
we will be at your side. Okay. Well, I usually like to send two ships to the big power plane on the Romulan ships first. That way you save as much of them, many of them as possible. And it really helps for the last part of this mission to have as many allied ships as you can. So, it's always good to try and save as many. So you'll help you later on the more you have, the easier it'll be. Yeah, make sure that you get this diamond pretty quick. Because it'll do a lot of damage to the mountain creatures. You want to make sure to take it out. Significant damage to enemy soldiers. Yeah, I'm not Hey, boy. Romulan fleet, this is the Federation Starship Enterprise. What is your status? Welcome, Enterprise. I am Commander Praetus of the Romulan warbird, Sea Though we were certainly capable of vanquishing this foe, the defeat was much swifter with your assistance. My ship has taken only moderate yeah, damage. Yeah, you should Others weren't so fortunate, <laughs> but I believe we still have enough combat effective ships to mount an offensive against the remaining Borg vessels. Excellent. We must move immediately to assist the other fleets throughout the system. Agreed. I place my attack group under your flag. Lead on, Enterprise. Contact your ships, General Menvek. Let them know we are here to help them fight our common enemy. Warriors of the Empire, we come to do you honor in the face of the aggressor. We will crush our enemies underfoot. I just love, I don't know, I just love Klingons so often. Enterprise. They're my favorite Star Trek enemy. Romulan fleet, we have come to aid you. I am Sub-Commander Varel. My flight of warbirds has been battling these wretched Borg with minimal success. But it seems our fortunes have changed for the better since your arrival. I salute your superior sense of timing. And I hail your bravery, Sub-Commander. Holding the Borg ships here has given us a chance to clear the area around the station. It took a great deal of courage to hold your ground. A necessary measure. Calculated in the hopes that we would achieve a successful campaign here against these vermin. We still have work to do. Are you prepared to move out? Indeed, Captain. Lead the way. My warbirds will take up formation in the fleet. Yeah. Varel out. We are picking up subspace distortions. Conduits are forming.
Locutus, I see you have managed to bring your chaotic governments to bear upon me. Well played. Though I'm sure you know this alliance will not save you. I give you one last chance to surrender. Sorry, that word is not in Starfleet's vocabulary. If this is to be our end, then we will die with our individuality intact. I see. You leave me no choice. My only regret is that what is left of Sarek within you will also be destroyed. However, I promise if I can preserve you within the collective mind, I will do so. Oh, how nice. More prey for the hunt. Excellent. My warrior's thirst was not quenched in our last engagement. Our ships stand ready to engage the enemy. Warbirds at the ready, Picard. We will form up on you. Enterprise to the fleet. Move forward and target at will. For glory and honor, we fly to war! Okay, so this is tricky part. Always go for the cubes. They will take out the AI as quick as... So train all of your ships on them. Don't worry about Terrell. Take out the cubes. here, but there is still another battle in the offing. Picard to fleet. Pursuit course. Engage at maximum warp. And that shall do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and in the next we will finish the Legacy campaign. So, I hope you've been enjoying this, and have a great day.